Hustle hard, man, I'm here all night I'm high park, thinking how the fuck I miss my flight I could have been in L.A. Rubbing on some actual cities But I guess the trap wanted me to stay and count hundreds 50 blocks stretch, my team of flex on anybody Double up is my army, I'm starting to feel like God is me I got Tupac running through my body Nas bumping in my tweeters, I'm in that state of mind Ducking Jakes and my pops, no end of disappointment In them would kill me alone, only if I got caught Speaking of catching, my line shaking Gotta catch this next one, you talking verses Well I got the best ones, better go and check them And did I mention, I'm charging extra These lines are puto, I'm dropping gems I like these rappers, man the lines are cool -o. Back to this paper, weighing on my neighbors They just moved away, but come back to to see me cause I got them flavors hold up Hi and welcome to another section of Jeffrey the Master Barber. In this uh, episode, we just gonna show, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I do my uh, mid fade, uh, mid tie fade. Uh, he's not gonna cut the top. We're just gonna shape uh, his his beard, and we're gonna do a line, uh, uh, the comb over line. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm using the. Is the magic clip the magic clip clipper, but the blade is from bold from the bolden, and the reason why I did that is because I don't want to deal with um, trimmers that are really uh, small, and then at time there's trimmers that if there's a lot of hair and, and it sometimes it, it gets stuck like when there's a lot of hair. So um, the the bolding, basically the blade is just act way better than a than a trimmer. It's double the side, and then with the engine uh, as a for a clipper is bigger. So it, it definitely will go through here like nothing. So it makes everything more faster and more cleaner. Right now, the, now I'm using the original uh, magic clip with the original magic blade, and I was using the 116. I did the first level. Now we uh, I'm using the 18. We open the level and right away we're just gonna take the line right there. The first line there, the um well not the first line, but the second line that it made uh when we did with the 116 and right away you you see it the fade is actually comes like right away. Now we close the level a little bit and we're gonna keep passing in that area right there. Alright. We're gonna keep passing it. That's what we're doing, we keep passing it. And when it, we're gonna continue past it, you know what I mean? Right there, we close the level. We go from right to left, left to right. Uh, always brush it. Leave that part right there always a little dark, especially if you wanna be able to see the arch and the box out. Um, that's what is in style right now. A lot of people, a lot of barbers in style of the haircuts is they doing it now. That shadow that you see right there, I'm gonna use the 116. Once again, we're gonna use the 116. And we're gonna oh uh, that was open level. Now we're gonna close it little by little. Uh, you, you're gonna probably close it maybe like three times by the time that when you close it completely. Um, and yeah, right there you can see. And then I make sure that I close it completely. That it's all the way and pass it again. You see. And then I brush it, make sure. And then I go right in the line and I make sure that. And it was not grounded, so right away I went to the uh, the magic clip. Or the reg regular magic clip with no guards and it's a little bit close but not completely close so I pass it right away just to take the line right away and pass it you know what I mean brush it keep brushing it keep passing it right there then keep brushing it now I close it completely and I'm gonna go over it one more time I open a little bit but then I close and I notice that I start seeing that shadow right there so I grab uh, this guard is called Speed Zero Guard, and um, usually the numbers they're weird, but this one is a number two. Uh, so I'm passing the number two in that area right there, in that shadow right there. Uh, and as you can tell, passing it right there. I want to take my time to to say thank you to the people that are tuned in, that have subscribed. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support, and I really appreciate you. Um, I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos in English, but definitely I'm going to commit myself, especially those who appreciate what I'm doing. Uh, so for you, I do this video. Uh, and for those who want to learn new, new different techniques and whatnot, 
This is the sh the Electro Shaver Series Nine, the Broom Series Nine, and uh, yeah, it's a great machine, great shaver machine. I definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, my accent. I'm Puerto Rican, uh, and you know, I work with a lot of. Uh, in a town that is just strictly Spanish and and so my, my accent is pretty pretty heavy But I'm gonna try my best to speak the best that I can so you go understand me. I also do tutorials in Spanish uh, Right now I'm using the oyster and I'm doing the technique uh, Caesars over comb and as you could tell passing a diary. This is the GTX that uh Modify the other day and, and I calibrate it and this is how Sharp and good it came out Look at how sharp it came out. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, this is this is it right here. Um, I definitely I was not a big fan of it, but now since I see how sharp the the, the Trimmer is definitely cutting. I'm starting to become a, a you know a, a, I, I, I used to love, love GTX the, from factory the way they are but this part right here especially to go around the ears and whatnot it, it's definitely and then it, it runs a lot smoother uh, it's a center it feels completely like a completely machine definitely so yeah just like we did on the other side we're gonna do on this side just we're gonna use the balding and notice you know we're gonna go right in that area you know a mid fade is in that area you know what I mean you don't want to go too high because then it will be a high fade high fade and like I said the the blade on this is bolding and and it, it definitely it, it will if you want to speed up the process and and you want to definitely save a lot of time because time is money I recommend you that to switch the blade and it will fit perfectly uh, we go back to the magic clip original and we're gonna get the 116 and we're gonna pass it right at, at, in that area where you guys are seeing right now uh, you, Some of you guys may say that looked like an inch or some of you guys may say that, that looked like half an inch Well, whatever you see that's that that's that's the height that you should at least go uh, Like I always said in my videos. I never claim that I'm the best. I never claim that my way is the only way uh, before I continue what I'm gonna say uh, we're using now the 1 8 and we're gonna right away uh, semi close level we're gonna take that line there the, with the 116 did and then we're gonna open the level and we're gonna ra uh, race a little higher and then we're gonna pass it again then uh, pass it in that area again and we're gonna see those shadows eventually they're gonna start going little by little you know what I mean uh, then close the level then we're gonna pass it again so yeah, like I was saying earlier, I never claim that I'm the best, but I'm trying to be always at my best and I do, I do my best for my clients and every haircut that I do. I never claim that my way is the only way and the best way to do it. And I never claim that because I know there's a billion different ways to do, to cut hair. Not all of them you're gonna get it. Not all of them are, may work for you. But what I do, I do is this for someone that maybe don't know the basics or or maybe sees that maybe he's he has a certain, uh, a certain way to do it and see is it the way that I do it and maybe by you know give it a try and when you give it a try it actually worked out for you and you feel that it it turned out to be better that's that's exactly why I do this video and like I said for those who you know maybe they lost the job or they don't have no job and they only have a pair of clipper and you know and they came across up, up on my YouTube channel and hopefully they'll be able to put it in practice and discover the the new that he got some uh, skills and, and at the end of the day it's not me in reality is you because at the end of the day the one that is gonna do mimic it and, and do it is you uh, you know what I mean it's not like you are taking something out of me now nah, you doing it I'm not doing it I'm just showing you how I do it. You put it to work, you mimic it, you try it, and you're gonna you're gonna come out with your own little style. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, but yeah, right now we just uh, pass in. We pass the 116. We work our way down. So now we uh with no no guard, and we were with the half, and uh, now less than a half. And notice that the blend in is coming. You know what I mean? It's coming right away. Now we jump into the two. 
we're gonna get in that area right there where you see the 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 shadows that it looks a little dark especially right there where i'm passing it that's right keep passing it there jeff so um yeah you know i've been cutting for 20 years and uh, i definitely love what i do this client in particular his name is marky thank you marky if you're seeing this thank you for letting me record you and and always for trusting me with your haircut he's been getting a haircut with me for almost 20 years uh and and i appreciate him he has brought me a lot of customer too a lot of clientele and yeah uh right now we're using the once again the zero the electric shaver series 9 I already have made videos uh, in English and in Spanish. Uh, I've done a review on it. I've done uh, I, I show really uh, more on detail how it works, uh, what it does. I, I have made videos comparing comparing it to other shavers that I have in the past, like the Andy Pro Line, the Portfolio, uh, the the Five Star, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, this this definitely is what well, the barber is a must tool. It's one of the tools that you should have in, in, in You know, if you are really barber, they like to get the best of the best for your client This is this is the machine that you have to get that you be on you need to have in, in your and you and you and you and you draw so right now we're going with the Technique uh, scissors over comb. I'm using the oyster uh, shares or scissors and uh, you know, I'm sure there's a cabillion and everybody's like, oh, I will use this, or I use this. Notice how the combs, it has small teeth. The small teeth, is it will act like a 116. And it's to get like those really, really short hair. So that's what I'm using it right there, especially in that area right there. See what I'm saying? So I have better control and I get what I, what I need. You know what I mean? That area right there. You know what I mean? And... Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the uh, like I was saying, the Caesars. There's like a billion Caesars or, or shares or whatever you may call it. But everybody got their own little things. That's why there's different colors, different type, different Caesars, different cards, different colors, and everybody got their own little taste. But in my taste, for me, the Oyster Caesars are they've been working to me just great. I've, I got those uh, Sally's. If you want to get the electric shaver that I was using, you could get it at Best Buy. Usually they have it in sold for $240, but a regular price is $300. Uh, yeah, this is the GTX. Look at how sharp this machine came out. I'm definitely uh, in the forehead. I noticed the, the, the difference. Like when I used to do in lines, it, it's definitely, uh, it's like a, like a pencil when it has, like once you have made, the pencil the real sharp definitely with, with with the with this trimmer you'll be able to see the blade from every angle so you know exactly and and, and not having that that piece of plastic it will let you go in more in uh not only that it, it runs a lot harder it, it runs not harder but like smoother but it's more strong um it and it's it runs a lot cooler too and then behind the ears and those uncomfortable plays it definitely works so much better it's much comfortable uh, I used to I was one of them they used to didn't believe that that was a good idea to do but finally uh, I, I realized you know what I mean just like everything else you know you you can't say at times you may talk about that about it and it's understandable you may have an opinion in a certain way about it but until you don't try it for yourself you and then if it works then you you know what i mean you gotta give credit when credit is due so right now we're going to the back part the back part uh just what we did in the side both sides we're gonna do in the back uh we're gonna you know the 116 now we uh we put it on that 116 there we're gonna make that level right away right there you know what i mean now we're going to jump into the one eight open the level a little bit and we're gonna get it right there you know what i mean and open the level completely right there you know what i mean keep passing it keep passing it keep passing it now we close the level we're gonna go exactly in that area when i'm passing it right there when i'm pointing 
That's where we're going to point it. Well, that's where we're going to pass it. And we're going to go from right to left, left to right, and that open the level a little bit. And you see how the hair go. You see how the machine is is is. Uh, now is with no guard. We take the guard and we close the level a little bit until we grab it. And right now it's grabbing it. But notice, um, let me see if you can. I open the level right there. Notice how the machine is usually turned sideways or a certain way. That's how the hair it goes down most of the time. So I go, you know what I mean? You see, it, it's going sideways, but that, the hair is going sideways too. So in the bottom, we're gonna use the electric shaver. And like I said, uh, every electric shaver works differently. And, and that's all you have for now but by, by all means keep working with that one if it's working for you keep working with it uh, you could do the uh, imitate the mimic of it so yeah um yeah i appreciate if you tune in if you've been following me thank you for following me uh for the time that you've been following me thank you for subscribing for the people that haven't subscribed this is the perfect moment to subscribe and and hit that little bell that little bell will notify you when i make a video and whatnot so now we got them laying down and once i lay them down we're gonna make those lines the beer sharp sharper you know what i mean like right here boom the reason why uh i'm shaping it when i'm uh, i'm i'm having them laying down is i'm a i'm a short dude i'm a five five so it gotta be comfortable in a sense that he's comfortable and i'm comfortable you know what I mean? So this is the way that I that I shape it at first. You know what I mean? I shape it up like this. Uh, I'm going as much lightly as I can because, like I said, this this uh, machine is super sharp, and uh, you know I'm I'm trying to get used to it back because I was using for a long uh, for a while the Andy Slim line, which is one of my best uh, favorite trimmers. And this one too, the GTX, I got two. One, I left one regular, and then this one I modified it. Um, but yeah, I'm just shaping it, everything as you could tell, you know what I mean? He's just chilling comfortable. And um, then after that, we're gonna be using the, the shaving cream, Bomb Pro is a medicated mental shaving cream. I, I definitely recommend uh, that cream. But before that, we just try to clean all the hair and everything, the must that we, the most that we can same thing in this side one thing you got to be careful watch this i was about to line it up everything and then exactly right here right here he started talking and you got to be careful because you see how it's moving and the blade you know what i mean i'm waiting until he stopped talking uh, once he stopped talking i go in the area but until he don't t stop talking i'm not gonna go so right there I wait until he finished talking then I start passing it and notice it's coming sharper real nice and sharp and um, same thing what we did in the other side we're gonna do on this side uh, like I said you know what I mean uh, you gotta be careful when they talk try not uh, stop what you're doing and, and wait until he finished talking to you or, or if you don't want to wait just tell him hey hold on give me a second let me let me clean this up real quick uh, talk with the client, have a conversation, get to know them. If they don't want to talk, then that's when you stay quiet and do your job. Um, and try to be uh, as much comfortable and polite and everything. You know, the right service will get you the right right client with the right paid and everything. Yeah, most of the time, you, you, you even if you don't have those skills or, or you just still learning or whatever, uh, sometimes how you treat a person uh, is what the client is looking for uh, you know what I mean besides the, the the haircut or someone to talk to so that that definitely uh, go uh, wins uh, a lot of a lot of people a lot of clients you know what I mean how you give them the service how you treat them you know what I mean and, and just treat them like how you want to be treated when you in the chair if that was you in the chair Right now, I'm trying to get all the hair as much close, uh, the, as much lower possible. And with this machine, the shaver, the Series 9, is that definitely it will leave it really, really nice and, and, and tight. I definitely recommend it. And, and it's very flexible. Um, 
yeah and yeah, as you could tell you know i'm trying to go every angle even on top and in the mustache he, that area that's where he got his mustache is real real thick so this machine works very well um there's times that i do the hot towel in him and i do do the hot towel service too it just like i said you gotta charge for those services because then everybody you know i mean you could give them a try but you know it's it's definitely stuff you gotta clean those towel you gotta put, you know it takes a little bit more time so you gotta charge you know you, you guys you, you gotta take this barber um i said that's what it is a profession just like a dentist and a doctor you know um jeffrey why you use the the glove a lot of people lately they've been using it more and the reason is is if you work with a lot of people you no offense to the clients or anything but you don't know what they may have so you want to always have just like a doctor when he is taking care of patient he always wear a glove just for uh, precautions you know what i mean and uh not only that uh we work with a lot of hair the hair gets stuck between my fingers and and hair splinters and those are the worst this is the cream that i was saying bone pro is medicated this is the number right there 1-800-254-9300 this is the best cream hands down i mean i wish it was it says jeff cream <laughs> seriously because this cream it smells so good not only smells so good it, it has so many good things like the minute that you put it in the face it feels like like a icy hot but it, it only it doesn't turn hot but it feels really icy it feels real cool uh smell like winter fresh and then not only that you don't have to put no water and when he when he dries up it feels like you have uh like the black mask it feels the the face the skin it, it will make it really nice and tight and then when it dries the skin start drying it start like um throwing like a little dust and that white dust it, it it makes it it makes it really the the lineup and everything really sharp and uh later on i will show more uh right now it's not happening because it's still wet uh, another good thing about this cream is that it will not irritate this this guy has the most sensitive skin and some other client and I use it on hand and even him him said he, he said it to me it's like wow why you use the what I what other creams that you've been using lately because I feel it feels really refreshing I don't feel no no uh, irritations whatsoever and uh and he got one I mean a thick thick you know rough thick beer uh beer and um yeah so this this cream uh it, it definitely it does the trick it works it works very 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 good uh as you could tell now it's drying always switch the blade the, the another trick is you know in order to get it really sharp you know switch the blade and another tip is always use both hand you know what i mean unless if you only got one hand then by all means do whatever you can but if you have two hands use the other hand to stretch the skin to uh whenever you cut something scrape the, the those hair uh make sure you got a napkin where you could wipe off the axis of of the hair that you just shave uh see wipe it right there shave shave wipe it right there and then with the left hand I keep brushing it you know what I mean and that's that's why really you know you got to look for those little details and you keep passing it the uh, people are gonna say but you shave it with the, the uh, with the shaver what happened there's some hairs that they didn't grab it could be ingrowing hairs that's when you use the blade to cut those to get those ingrowing hair out and, and do that little service extra right now as you could tell this particular client he had the box out in the front he has that I call it the Dracula point and he don't like to take it out so uh, I, everything that I do on a client is what he he asked me to do so I do as he told me to do if he wants the beer like that that's how I do if he wants the line that's what he asked and that's what I give him. Now at this point, look, this is what I'm saying about the cream. It's gonna start like 
You know what I mean? Drying, but look at how it's, it's coming, little by little. And and that's that's what I like about this um, cream. It makes everything so much on detail. And not only that, that the blade, it glides really, really smooth. And I'm cleaning the lines as much as I can right here like this. Then later on, I'm going to get the clipper and we're going to clean a little bit more of the area. But once again, notice my left hand, how I always stretch the skin. Whatever the blade is, the, the, my thumb is going to be right behind it. You know what I mean? Stretching. And it does help. See? And then you do it whatever, how many times you want. Um, you don't have to worry about ir irritating the skin of the client because, like I said, this cream activates. It, it kind of... It, it really activated it, it, it will protect it it's like a glaze and 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 uh it protect really the skin and let you really shave everything really nice and prop really nice properly you know what i mean in a proper way um like i said i i, mm -hmm. I do give different services uh if they ask me to give them the hot towel shave that's then i do it um so but in this occasion i'm just showing you how i do my beer and i'm always always try to get it as, char as sharp and detail uh, right now we got them sitting down now we're going the final details we're gonna keep going again you know we're gonna go over and over until i see the okay it's coming sharp we're going behind the ear just those hair that maybe the trimmer or or the or shaving machine didn't grab and then in the back of the of the ear notice how i always cover the ear with my thumb and everywhere when i'm about to shave the thumb is right there as you could tell right there notice how um it's coming all alone and then uh i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you in a few something else that i'm gonna do between the line and and the beer but in the meanwhile I'm trying to get the shape of the, the lineup all nice and clean and detailed. And, uh, you know, the racer is from Black Widow. It's pretty good. I grab right here the magic clip with no no guards. And then those little long hair, it, it kind of, I, I noticed that, you know, that it was kind of in the way. So I'm trying to make it a lot better. And then right here, the line. In order from the side view, so you can see it, I grab the corner of the blade and I cut those little hair. You know what I mean? And you, you started to see a little bit more and then I grab it, the hair and the, uh, the, the trim, I mean the clipper. And, and go all the way down those little hair and cut those little hair right there. Now I put it right in front of you so you can see that I, I'm not afraid to show my work. Uh, it's always someone, someone that is going to criticize, it could be you, you, it could be constructive criticism, it could be your co-worker, it could be anybody. But I'm going to tell you something, at the end of the day, the only person that, they gotta really, that you really have to care is the client. When you show the mirror and you show everything and you've done everything possible that, possibly that you can and you do it and you did it your own way and you show the mirror and he definitely knocks or, or say yes i like it and he pay you and he keep coming back that's the only person that you gotta really the only uh the only you should care about because not everybody everybody was gonna have their own opinion their own criticism whether good or bad and they're gonna try to always put you put you down they don't want you to go to the next level so you keep pushing. At this point, I'm putting in a little bit of gel and whatnot. Then I'm gonna take the, the next trick. And behind it, right there, I'm gonna put more of that cream because there's baby hairs there and whatnot. So we're gonna take care of that by shaving, going around the neck and whatnot. And um, so yeah, just love, do, love what you do and do it the best, the best of your knowledge. Follow the steps. If you don't, if you're beginning, follow my step and try to put it to mimic it to imitate me and and but do it with the client whatever you have the time and the chance you know pause it rewind it until you get the hang of it this is a uh, oil sheen just add a little shine and and nutrition to the hair i love this spray this is before the haircut this is how he looks and um you know i didn't cut the top he said it would be he has a uh, Crazy hairstyle in the bag, like his hair stand up because he got a, the, the, the collet 
is is is, is weird on him and uh but you know that's what he likes at the end of the day uh this is before and i'm gonna show you that after right now this is after the haircut with the line and, and notice you can see the line now when i was you look at the line clean you know what i mean not too thick not too thin in between it's what the client asks you to can you make it semi thin or can you make it thick the line can you uh, lift the beer uh, thick and uh, or can you leave it long long but groom it out and uh so yeah this is how the front looks from the front view this is the side view uh once again thank you and hope you enjoy this